good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, I am on my website, hlmodtech.com. Friends, I'm starting on the Tinkercad tab because it's a wonderful place to learn about Tinkercad. And also down at the bottom, I've got a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Tinkercad TV, friends, is a place where I share designs of other users so you can be inspired to create your own epic creations. So without any further ado, let's paste in the share link of today's designer. Friends, today's design comes from Springtrap. He has added notes. I will hide them for a moment as I just show you the ship real quickly. This is for the Tinker Together project. If you haven't seen the Tinker Together, they are posted by Tinkercad. And right now we're all working together to build awesome ships. This is Springtrap submission, so let's walk through the awesome notes. This is a 3D model of the original SS France operated by the French line, or CGT, between 1912 and 1935 when she was scrapped. I hope you enjoy this model of the SS France knowing that I have poured nothing but my best work into building this model. Stats on the build. The parts grouped, there are 149. Ungrouped, there are almost 1,200. Built for quality and may not be 3D printable. There is a seal of authenticity that you can always find down on the bottom. That is so cool. Real life stats. 720 feet long, a beam of 23.88, tonnage 25,000 pounds-ish, top speed 23 and a half knots, capacity 2,020 people. That's awesome. If we move out to the front of the ship, we've got credit for the anchors, two unlimited model works. They are awesome and appreciated. This is the anchor pulley system. Right here we have the ventilators. This is the crow's nest where lookouts would be stationed. This is also the forward mast. Right here we have the bridge where the captain and some officers would be stationed. This is the compass. Of course we have non-collapsible lifeboats for safety. Funnel 1, Funnel 2, Funnel 3, and Funnel 4. Right here we have domes covering the drawing room. This is the first class and the grand stairway, and that is the dome over the lounge room. Behind that, we have the equipment above the art gallery. Here we have the aft mast, and this is the dome covering the terrace cafe. Right here, we have the stern superstructure island, not specified to be a docking bridge, but it may be. The ship here has an open stern. Something very surprising about the stern of France is its non cluttered stern. If we look down a bit here you can see this is the stern crew promenade. This is the rudder and the propellers. Those are awesome. And check it out the flag of the French Republic most commonly known as France. Love those waving flags. Friends if we check up here we have got the flag of the French line also known as CGT. That is so cool. Let's take one more look at this amazing ship. Oh my gosh, so many amazing details. Springtrap, this is so realistic and it's so fun to see the details that you pour into all of your amazing Tinkercad designs. Springtrap estimates that he's got three days tied up in building this awesome design. He also notes that it was called the Millionaire Ship because it was a favorite among millionaires. One sad note is that the ship was obsolete after only 21 years. Friends, remember if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, maybe even possibly star on another episode of Tinkercad TV, it is so simple you can click on this button. Generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, and then down at the bottom, there is the sweet built in messaging tool. Click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. 
friends. Don't forget, I also need to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, down below, there's also the Designer Showcase. You can zip in here and find a ton of Tinkercad profiles. When the profiles open, they're sorted by likes. I highly recommend switching to sort by latest so you can see the cool new projects people are creating and make sure, of course, you give them a reaction as well. As you're exploring friends, don't forget Tinkercad Gallery 2. There are tutorials listed. And finally, down here, there is the request a shout out button, which of course has a tutorial as well. Friends, in wrapping up this episode of Tinkercad TV, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Springtrap, for your awesome creation and taking time to share it with us. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.